here with the number one player in the world and now the champion here at Colonial, Adam. It's been a pretty big week, mate. You, uh, you get crowned the number one player in the world on Monday and then you start, you go out in 39. Yeah. Tell me what's going through your mind Thursday. Yeah, it wasn't the front nine I was looking for coming in this week, but uh, it's been a special week for me uh, right from Monday, you know, to wake up as the number one player in the world. It's a huge accomplishment, something I probably downplayed, and then to come out here and play this week was going to be enjoyable. You know, I wanted to play as uh, number one. You never know how long that's going to last, so you better get out here and put the shoes on. But uh, started slow, but slowly worked into my rhythm out on the course and, and finally got there at the end. Before even Monday came along, I was talking to Steve early in the week. It was a late decision for you to even play here. Mm. What was what was that decision all about? Yeah, it was, it was a late call. Uh, we threw it in last minute. I just felt leaving the players that, you know, I just wasn't in great rhythm on the golf course, you know, and I've been on the range a lot, hitting a lot of balls, and sometimes you've got to get off the range and uh, get out of your own mind and play some golf, and I felt like I needed to do that to free up out on the course, and, and Steve thought it was a good idea as well, uh, so he made the trip back, <laughs> a long trip back, but uh, it worked out good for us. We, we worked hard this week, and uh, you know he's the guy you need on the bag when... when uh, it gets into a pressure situation. He sure is. So over the last couple of months, you've had a few opportunities here to claim the number one spot in the world, and you wanted to do it with a win. Mm. You didn't quite get it your way, but in the end, is this a great way to validate that uh, crowning? Yeah, a little bit, I guess so. I mean, it, I was number one already, but, uh, you know, winning, winning is uh, not easy out here, and uh, there's always a lot on the line. But there was a lot on the line today. I wanted to try and play well to stay number one, you know. It feels pretty good, I must admit. Uh, but, you know, to come out and win here this week, uh, yeah, might validate a little bit. But, you know, they're big, big shoes to fill in Tiger Woods, who's been number one for so long and dominated this game. And, uh, you know, just to be there for a week or two is a great start. <laughs> yeah, you talk about Tiger, but... I mean, Greg's had a huge influence on your career as well, and you're now the second Australian that's uh, been the number one player in the world, the fourth Australian to win here at Colonial. Mm. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, Greg's a huge influence, and uh, you know, I try and follow in a lot of Greg's footsteps as far as his career path, and uh, you know, to win a major is great, and then to make it to number one. I mean, these are like childhood dreams uh, that I had, you know, from watching him. So, you know, any I say to him, any time I do something that you've done out on the golf course, I'm going to be in good shape. So it's a huge uh, accomplishment. I, you know, I felt like I tried to take the pressure off myself as it was getting closer, and I didn't, didn't get it done. But to come out and win the first week is number one is a pretty sweet deal. And so now you've won here in Colonial. Just a quick look ahead. You're playing at Jack's Place next mm -hmm. week and then on to Pinehurst. You've got to feel pretty good about your game. Yeah, I like the way it was kind of shaping up this weekend. Certainly it was kind of getting that freedom that I was talking about that I was looking for and uh, started swinging the club a lot a lot more like myself, uh, which was nice and created some opportunities. I like the course next week at Jack's Place, Muirfield Village suits me nicely, so I'd like to take this and kind of run with it and then uh, you know keep some form for the US Open because that'll be a great week and uh, you know I'd love to be in the mix there. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining us. You got it, Phil. Golf, Thanks, mate. Cheers. Good on you. Thanks to you. <laughs>